Now we're coming into the final heat of the round one. Tatiana Wesson-Webb taking on six-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore and Hawaii's Alessa Quizan and really rattled the cages of a lot of the veterans on tour. Alessa Quizan, another talented goofy foot representing Hawaii, will split the peak with Tati. We'll stick with Weston Webb as she gets that first vertical snap in and Whitewater section gets the best of her. Meanwhile, Alessa's still working on this wave over by the pier. Stephanie put herself in good position. You know, we'll get to see the replay here of Alessa on her forehand. You know, this higher tide, it is going to be really challenging. This is about the time of day that I made my attempt uh, on the north side surfing yesterday. And it was challenging to get a, a move on the outside because when you look at it straight on, that this is a better angle to kind of see how slopey the transition is. It is challenging to be able to get a wave that's going to be steep enough on the face to really execute a nice, solid maneuver. A lot of kind of placing maneuvers in this type of conditions, you know, and, and time. So you can kind of get a read. I think it's, uh, you know, it's something you grip, bring up a good point. High tide at 2.33 this afternoon, so in about 13 minutes. This is Quizan. Nice, easy snap on the back end. Now trying to force the reform, and it's not going to let her in. Now we have Stephanie Gilmore on her first wave. Clean arc on the back end. She'll step off. Absolute finesse. Let's have another look. Wave number two as well. So it's a little smoother face, a little steeper for that first section. I mean, that's, you know, the thing about it is, is that if she had showed more interest at the end of that wave, I think it had probably could have left a little better taste in the judge's mouth. You know, but you can tell she was a little disgusted by it. You know, like, oh, shoot, I wanted to see... You know, a couple more turns. Here's a, a replay of Alessa Quizan. And, you know, in contrast, she's going to dig it out to the inside and show that she wants that inside connection, whereas you saw kind of the flick of the board away from Steph. Uh, chances again to see if she could qualify, although looking good on the Q QS right now, sitting at number two. Now watching more action here, Pete. Tatiana Weston Webb squares up for a big first turn. Super powerful. Squares up vertically. And that backside hook is so reliable for Tati, and she, it will just be good for one move on that wave. We see scores for Gilmore come in at a 5-7-3 for one move, so this one could go the distance, Pete. Straight up, too, for uh, Tati. Nice connection with the lip, good timing. A little different type of off the top than we saw from Steph Gilmore, and, of course, Steph kind of stepping off, whereas Tatiana tried to make uh, her way through to the inside. I would say they're going to be similar scores. On the Jeep leaderboard, we're down to 17 minutes on the clock and a little opportunity coming through for Stephanie Gilmore, who's got first priority. Get all three surfers up as they have some distance between each other. Focusing on Tatiana Weston Webb, further down on the corner. Now catching up to Gilmore kicking out, and Alessa was on, still looking for more towards the pier. And it... it this is where you can rely on uh, the replay. We're going to follow Alessa on this one. Towards the pier. Nice connection with the lip. Redirects, goes back right. Foam climb. So it's got herself uh, two moves on the outside. One really nice dynamic one. We saw some scores go almost into the go. Or one did go in the good range for Tatiana Weston Webb for one move. And then we get uh, a look at Steph Gilmore and her outside maneuver little layback direction change off the top and a foam climb for her so two moves similar I think the strength in uh, Alessa's a little stronger on that attack um, from Alessa but uh, kind of similar style ways and then Tatiana on the corner not much going for her I don't think that's going to go into her top two this morning now finishing up this last heat of round one heat number six before the QS is back out there again and Peter Mel during the break we had more action Split of the peak, Steph Gilmore heading left towards the pier. We're watching Tatiana Weston Webb. Nice little double tap on the outside. Nothing, I would say, that's super dynamic, but watch this move. Straight up from Gilmore with control, but just the one move. So we've seen uh, that score, or that type of wave score, pretty good. Um, she's trying to better a 4.17. I feel like she'll probably do that. Non elimination heat. And Gilmore trying to hang on to the lead. Rolling in, though, is a surfer from the west side of Wahoo. Alessa Quizan, backside snap. Nice form. Onto the corner, now starting to fade. And the reform's not going to give her too much. 
Couple of big moves out the back and still just needing a 5-8-4. You know, it brings in and, and able to get a little shallower. You can see this section here fairly smooth as uh, that wave before pulled the, the velvet clean. And Here's then live we'll action. Catch up to Tati, a huge backside float. Now this is the part where she's searching, hoping she gets a reform. This wave is keeping her up high and she'll miss that inside connection. Now Gilmore fading. And she'll get out. So a heated battle here. Two Hawaiian goofy foots trying to upset the six-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore with 640 remaining. Knowing how fully important it is to have that priority is uh, pretty uh, important. As you see, here's that replay. Again, a little farther north. And look at that velvety wall. And lays into that second turn. There's the turn we catch up to. And, she, uh, and then she kicks out. And that was that kick out. Rather than trying to milk it, knowing that she's not going to get to the inside, the major moves were done. And this was the replay of Tatiana's big float section. This was the first wave. And you can see a lot more bump and lump on the face. So a little bit more challenging to ride. Crazy. Tati takes the lead. Quizon to second. Now Gilmore all the way down to third. Step up now. Big blast off the lip. The backwash just really takes her out of that last section. And uh, the current, you know, all the water will push in and it pulls out next to the piers. We see a replay. Actually, that's live action. Tatiana Weston Webb, nice form into the pilings. Gets that big frontside hack in and now looking to reform it. And that one ends up dropping her off on the inside. All getting in that six range. And now Tati separating herself with a 737. How'd you like this left? Well, that turn, I would have liked to see her finish with a little more uh, of the board being up on rail, but she was able to keep the momentum. She almost stopped it short so she could get down to that final section, and I like how she finished that wave. Uh, she sits on the inside now, so she's just staying busy. That's her strategy so far. Now having a look, staying active. Gilmore, former U.S. Open champ, just going for a big power blow in the closeout, but she can't hang on. Now heading into the final minute, Alessa Cuisan has priority, needs an 8.47, and she'll use it on this wave. Nice, clean snap off the whitewater. Drills it again, now looking to reform. Kuzan looking solid so far. She needs excellent surfing to get the spot into the lead, and it won't give her the reform opportunity, and we're down to 45 seconds to go. Uh, is it that 837? I'd say probably just shy. It's waiting on scores for Alessa Kuzan, an opening round that was pretty challenging for our top-seeded surfers. We saw Sally get sent to round two. Joanne DeFay, defending champ, sent to round two. Courtney Conlog with her rival, Sage Erickson, taken to win, has to deal with the second round. Same goes for Carissa Moore. Will Tatiana Weston Webb saves it, save it for the top seeded surfers as we wait for the decision? Alessa Cuzon trying to turn it on the last wave. Let's take another look. Well, it's a nice size set wave. You know, I love to see the review, but there, that was critical. You know, she laid into it and. Uh, the second one, too, was able to tweak it out. Huh, it could be. Those are two nice turns. Scores now coming in for Alessa Quizon, an 8.07. Oh. It's not enough. Just shy. Five judges on the panel. Two said it was enough. Three said it was just under. And she'll just avoid taking a win. And Tatiana Weston-Webb survives at the last exchange.